Welcome back little monkey fans, it's Carrie here. And today we're going way up to the treetop toy box for a super cool Playmobil City Life review. We have the amazing large furnished school item 4324, the Playmobil City Car item 5569, and the spectacular school bus item 5940. And it even comes with flashing lights. Well, let's get opening. And here is our fantastic furnished school, all 797 pieces. There are so many super cool accessories. Let's start on the outside here. We have a bike rack for any of the kids who decide to ride their bike to school. Frosted panes here that cover our staircase that lead to the upper floor. I love the red roof and look at all of the super huge windows around the school. It lets in so much natural light, it's fantastic. And a bunch of greenery up front by our main entrance. And here comes one of our students now, arriving in our Playmobil City car. Let's check out this set next. And here's our Playmobil City car. It came with a total of 24 pieces. I love that we have rubber wheels that roll very, very nicely. And I love the stripes that we have on the side of the car as well. Around front you can see our headlights and our license plate. And then around back we've got a hitch and we can access the trunk. So there's some pretty good storage back there for such a little car. In order to get our characters out, we just pop off the top windshield. And you can see we can only fit two characters in our car. And there's a cool navigation sticker inside. Let's check out our mom first. And here she is. I absolutely love her plaid button up top. And she has some jeans and some matching shoes on the bottom. And next we have our little girl and she comes with a super cool booster seat. So she can pop right off of that. So this can recline back all the way and then sit up straight. I just love that for our smaller characters to fit in the car. And that's what it looks like inside the car without our character. I just love that. And then here's our little girl. I absolutely love her super bright yellow top with the flowers on it. And there's our Playmobil City car. And it looks like more students are arriving. And here is our awesome school bus with flashing lights. Let's check out this set next. And here's our school bus set. It has 21 pieces in total and there are some super cool features. Let's start with our school bus. You can see we have our stop sign that can pop out to warn our other cars coming on the road to slow down because kids will be loading onto the bus. It has rubber wheels just like all of the other Playmobil cars and it rolls very, very quietly. And the other super cool feature on this bus is that it has flashing lights. There's a little button up top. You can see them flashing on the front and on the back. How cool is that? And then on our other side, we have our access door for our children to get on the bus. So the door pops open. Or the second way that we can get to access to get characters in and out is to pop off the top. And you can see inside our bus, we have three seats along this side and four along the back along with our driver. Let's pop our driver out first. And here he is. He has a fantastic cap on and that'll pop right off. Then he has a jacket on and a super cool checkered shirt underneath. He's ready to get all of these kids off to school. And then we have our three children character that came with the set. We have two boys and a girl. This little boy comes with sandals on the bottom and each of them have a backpack accessory. There's our first little boy. Next, here's our little girl. I absolutely love her top. It looks like it's a fluorescent Batman symbol on the front. It is so cute. And then she has a red backpack accessory. And here's our last boy. I absolutely love his fluorescent yellow sleeves on his shirt and it's stripy on the front. And then he has a green backpack accessory. Yay, school! Looks like our kids are ready to head off to school. Well, let's spin it around and check out the inside of what came with our furnished school. Mm -hmm. 
And here's the inside. It is so cool. Well, let's start up front by our main doors. So our main doors will open inwards or outwards and you can see our kids from our other two sets chatting before they come inside the school today. So this main rotunda area is just an open space with a whole bunch of seating here. So the kids could come have lunch here or they could even use this as their music space. And that's kind of how we have it set up right now. So we've got seating here. We've got some lunch accessories. We have a cup and some orange juice. And then we have this lunch box accessory and it'll pop on open so you could store some goodies inside as well. Over on our other wall, we have this movable piece. So we can slide it out of place and we have stored all of our music supplies on here and it looks like a bulletin board on top. I just love how that can move around to any spot in the school that you'd like. Let's move on to our first classroom. And here's our first classroom space. We've set it up as our creative arts area. So we have a teacher and three students. Let's check out our teacher first. He's got on a green sweater over a button up shirt and some brown pants and boots. He's ready to let his students get creative in his class. Next we have our three students. And this little fellow here looks identical to one of our characters that came with our school bus set. So he's gonna have a twin running around this school. I love that we've got a Playmobil girl with a long skirt on that's super sweet. And each of our three students come with a backpack. There's our backpacks. So this fella's just snaps on, it doesn't open up. But these two do. And inside, each have a notebook. And so she has a blue, and so does he. I just love that you can actually slip something inside of them. We have a bit of greenery here, and then we have this extra flower pot where you could actually store some greenery, but we've decided to clip it onto the wall and use it as our craft supply storage. So inside of there, we have a whole bunch of different types of crayons and paintbrushes and pens that the students can use in this class. And up top, you can see that we have a fire extinguisher for the school. We have this fantastic long bench here, and this can slide out as well and move around wherever you'd like. And on it, we have a super sweet paint palette and paintbrush. And next, here's our easel. We have some scissor supplies, then we have a red and blue paintbrush, and a pad of paper. There's quite a few different pages in this pad. And the cool thing is, is that this will spin all the way around. We have two extra chairs around back, and I love that we have a whole bunch of butterfly artwork on all of the windows. Around the other side of our arts and crafts room, we have a whole bunch of different other supplies. So we have these different types of tools that the students can use. We have paint supplies up top in five different colors. And then on our shelf, we had what looks like a clay doll and a paint palette set. And that just snaps on closed. I love that. That is so cool. And there's our fantastic art class. Moving along to the other side of our front entrance, we have our staircase that leads to our upper floor and we'll check that out in a minute. But over on our far right side of our main floor, we have a bit of green here at front and then we have this button here. So that could be the buzzer for the kids to know it's time to get into class. Then we have our two restrooms. We have our boys and then our girls. And so those doors will just pop right open. Let's head on inside to check them out. Here's our boys and girls restroom. So we have these front privacy panels on the side. So those can just pop right off so you can get into play. The restrooms are identical. They both have a toilet, a sink, and a mirror. And there's our restrooms. Next, let's move on up our staircase to our upper floor. And here's the upper floor of our fantastic school. There are so many great spaces up here. Let's start in the center at the top of our stairs first. So we access our upper floor through our staircase that comes up right here. And in front, we have almost like a computer lab. So some of the students can come out here and work on the computers. So we have a couple of chairs, two computers, and then this desk. And it looks like our students are learning about some super cool animals. We've got our main school clock up here. Uh oh, it's 8.30, class is about to begin. Around back, there's two partition walls that'll pop right out. And then we have a space back here that could be like our teacher's lounge. We have a briefcase. Looks like we have a big calendar on the back and we have a coffee station here and it's sitting on a movable shelf. Then we have a desk that has a set of keys on top, a drawer that will open and close and a phone on top. I love that the receiver part will pop right off. And there's our teacher's lounge. So on the far left side of our upper school, we have our science room. There's a sink and some shelving on the left side. And then we have some different animals displayed 
up on these shelves. We have a butterfly and then a type of bird. And way in the back, we have our skeleton. I just love him. So the kids can learn about all the different parts of our bodies. Over on this side, we have this fantastic wall chart here and that'll spin around. So on this side, it looks like we have a bunch of information of some different types of animals and food. And then on this side, it looks like we have some geographical information about where different animals are located around the world. And that can bend all over the place. Up on the back wall, we have a life cycle of a frog. So it looks like it goes from egg to tadpole all the way up to the frog. And up front, we have a student and our teacher along with a whole bunch of other super cool science type accessories. So we have two chairs and a table and we have our first student here on the upper floor. And she looks identical to one of the little girls that came in our school bus set. So she is gonna have a little twin running around just like our other little boy. So she has a backpack accessory. This is one of the non-opening ones, just snaps on and off. Next, we have our fantastic science table with all of our supplies. A magnifying glass, book about butterflies, this fantastic microscope, some type of solution, and then three test tubes. They are so itty bitty. Around back we have our science teacher. Looks like she has a colorful scarf on the front and an open top and her hair is tied around back. And then on the other wall of our science room we have a chair, kind of a storage space with a binder on top, and then a magazine about ocean and different types of animals. And there's our science room. Let's move on to the last learning space on our upper floor. And here it is. On the right hand side of our upper floor, we have this fantastic, huge learning space. So we've got a bunch of stickers along the wall. Looks like this is where the students would learn all about math and health and maybe even some social studies. Up front, we have two of our students. So we have a little girl and a little boy and they both have backpacks that'll pop open and they have books inside. We have so many cool accessories. We have a whole bunch of different types of books and binders and magazines. There's a sports one and then one about horses up on the shelf. We have some different shaped tools, similar to what we had down in our art area. We have this amazing globe that really spins. We have four chairs and two desks. And on each desk, we have a slot where the students can keep their pen and pencil. And we have a couple of different books. So it looks like they're maybe learning about some different types of history. This particular classroom comes with two compasses. This is a navigational compass. And this one is more like a mathematical tool compass that you could use to draw some circles and arcs. Up at the front, we have two more wall displays. This one has a whole bunch of different types of flags. And that looks like some distance information on the back. And then spin all around, it can move. This one looks like it's all about health and different nutritional things. And then on the back, it's a whole bunch of different types of birds. And next we have our teacher. So she has her pointer in her hand and that can pop right out. I love her orange top. I just got round short hair. Next we have our teacher's desk. It has a bunch of drawers for storage. We have an extra notebook and a pen. And then we have a fantastic laptop. And one of the coolest accessories that we have is this fantastic blackboard. So along the top we have an abacus. We've got our sponge wipe off because we have our real white crayon that will write on our blackboard. And the cool thing is, is that this will flip around so you just have a straight blackboard on the back side. And there's our amazing Playmobil City Life School car and school bus. Little monkey fans, please leave us a comment and let us know if you remember what time it said on our school clock. Thanks for watching. To join all the fun up in our treetop, please subscribe to Little Monkey Media's channel. Don't forget, if you like our video, please share it and click like. We go bananas for tools.